Hi everyone, I'm Cinder A9, and welcome, as you can see, to StarCraft II Heart of the Swarm. This is release day, just came out, I just got it, got it all loaded up. And what I'm going to be doing is going over the campaign of, of this game. I see I got 83% of the achievements on Wings of Liberty. I loved Wings of Liberty campaign. The campaign was amazing to me. And just was thrilled with it. Loved it. I'm hoping to get the same out of Heart of the Swarm. It's been three weeks since the Terran invasion of Char. Deep within a research facility in the Eumosian Protectorate, Sarah Kerrigan wrestles with the darkness of her past and the uncertainty of her future. So, I'm hoping that this game is a blast. Hope you all enjoy it. Like I said, I'm going to go over the, the campaign and make this a new Let's Play project. You can play Wings of Liberty on normal, which I have. Only choose however you're a StarCraft veteran, which I am. Choose Brutal if you're an expert at StarCraft. I wouldn't go that far. But for this playthrough, I'm going to play on normal. Just because I know how some missions can be tough. Some in Wings of Liberty were kind of tough. And to be honest with all of you, I'm not too good with Zerg in general. <laughs> but let's go. With the disappearance of the Queen of Blades, the Zerg Swarm has been shattered. Jim Rayner's rebel forces have smuggled Sarah Kerrigan off Char, leaving the planet to General Warfield and the Dominion. Meanwhile, the powerful Zelnaga artifact has disappeared. In a hidden base in the Protectorate, Rayner and Prince Valerian have begun conducting tests to ensure that Kerrigan's return to humanity is complete. But they're running out of time. 
Throughout the sector, Emperor Mink's forces carry out a relentless hut for the Dominion's most hatred hated enemy, Sarah Kerrigan. So I hope you enjoyed that <laughs> that intro video there. And I'm hoping for the depth that the campaign Wings of Liberty went into I'm going to go over it while this loads is uh, or, or was fantastic if you enjoy StarCraft but haven't played StarCraft 2 Wings of Liberty I, I, I think it's worth it just for the campaign alone it's definitely worth it but enough about Wings of Liberty this is Heart of the Swarm What's up, Rainer? Open the door, son. Valerian's orders, sir. No visit. Open the door. Because the man told you to. Night, darling. Good. Then we can go after Mengsk. Forget Mengsk. Forget all of it. This is about you and me. Until Mengsk is dead, there can't be a you and me. I moved heaven and earth to bring you back, Sarah. I can't watch you throw that away just for revenge. Initiating test phase two. I never gave up on you, Sarah. Don't you give up on us. Test phase two, commencing. What are you hoping to get out of these tests, Valerian? I told you, I don't remember anything about being the Queen of Blades. We have to find out how much of the Zerg mutagen is left in your system. I appreciate your cooperation, Kerrigan. Do you usually keep cooperative people in a containment cell? <laughs> when we know it's safe, I'll unlock your door myself. Now, can you reach out with your mind? Do you sense it? A drone? Are you really asking me to take control of a Zerg mind? Do you know what could happen? All the test subjects are in a secure environment. It's just a drone. Select the drone. Are you able to control it? Hey, drone. I've always liked this. You can get tips on different things. 
especially what's going on at the moment like drone yeah I have it it's okay. a drone the next step see if you can order the drone to mutate into a hatchery okay basic structures mutate into a hatchery 300 minerals your base of operations left click on the mutate into hatchery button and place the hatchery by left clicking just like that a hatchery is the central structure of a zerg base it spreads creep so that other structures can be built the very important also produces lava which you use to morph into more drones or other zerg creatures when you use lava the hatchery will replenish them over time so keep that in mind everybody mm -hmm. okay Kerrigan I'm releasing more drones into the test chamber see if you can order them to gather those resources all right drones let's go go gather for me Now while the harvest goes on, as they harvest minerals. You're doing well, Kerrigan. Can you morph more drones? I need an overlord to morph anything else. Do it then. One overlord shouldn't hurt. Okay. Let's make an overlord. This allows you to control more units. The Zerg use overlords to generate more supply. Your current supply maximum is displayed in the upper right corner of the screen, along with how much supply you are currently using. If you do not have enough available supply, you will not be able to morph a unit. Almost done. Good. Move over here. With that, Let's make more drones. Ah, uh, one at a time. Okay. Excellent. I plan to stop here, but let's take this a little further. Try mutating a drone into a spawning pool. You. You're now officially becoming a spawning pool once I have enough money. Spawning pool allows you to make the base Zerg attack unit. A Zergling. Now I'm really rusty. I haven't played StarCraft 2 in quite a while, so I'm pretty rusty on stuff. Hopefully the tutorial will work me back back up into shape a little bit. Now left click on mutate into spawning pool. The spawning pool allows the hatchery to turn lava into zerglings. You know this is going to end badly, right? <laughs> We have a controlled environment. Yeah, just how controlled is it? Oh, well, with that done. The spawning pool is finished. You should go down to the test chamber and inspect it. <laughs> I can see just fine from up here, thanks. I think that's all we need today, Kerrigan. Great work. If you think that was great work, wait till you see this. I'll make some zerglings. Let's do just that. Come here, Zerglings. Kerrigan, what are you doing? Putting your controlled environment to the test. <laughs> Let's see just how controlled your environment is. Definitely going to need some more overlords. Let's do that. Then we can make more Zerglings. We'll have the Zerglings show up there. Come here, Zerglings. There we go. Checkpoint. Stop 
up! I didn't ask you to create Zerglings! Funny thing about Zerg, Valerian. They never do what you expect. <laughs> Shut down the experiment. Get sentry bots in there to sanitize those holding cells. Lock uh -oh. them on the sublevel and power up the eradicator. Nothing gets out! Maybe if I destroy your pretty eradicator, you'll learn you can't control the Zerg. That's what you get. You're playing with fire, Valerian. Okay, I'm definitely gonna need some more Zerglings. Not enough minerals. Those sentry bots are destroying the Zerglings in their pens. I can change that. Agreed. Let's do just that. Force the numbers. Go, Zerglings. My sentry bots aren't too tough, but. There, force the numbers. Come on out. Zerglings and holding pens. Valerian, you were very careless. Perhaps I'll free them too. <laughs> Bonus objective release Zerg from pens. Well, I'm always about doing more than required. Additional overlords required. Come on, Zerglings. Containment breach. Zerg specimens free. Evacuate the scientists. Get all personnel out of there. Let's carve up these sentry bots. As you see, Zerglings are good at swarming a target. You can make a lot of them very cheap. And now we have more. More Zerglings. Good. I can use them. Oh, definitely. Kerrigan, this is not a game. It never is with the Zerg. <laughs> Let's get rid of that. Kill a sentry bot that's attacking, first of all. Now get rid of this. Looks like a factory. Maybe it makes sentry bots. If it does, I don't want it around anymore. Go. Zerg, run! Damn it! Get all personnel off that level. Sentry guns. No more personnel remain on sub level. It's all out of control. Containment door closed. <laughs> Automated gas defense activated. <laughs> That containment door won't open until I destroy those turrets. Well, guess we'll do that. You turrets need to go. I'll split them up a little bit. The door's open. Now to destroy the eradicator. Well, let's not do that quite yet. Let's get some more friends first. So we'll just attack in general. You can attack a unit by clicking on it. But if you just click the ground like so, they'll attack anything that shoots them or threatens them. Like so. Very useful for getting around. Oh, I had a feeling these sentry bots would attack. There we go. More zerglings here. Well, they're mine now. Very true. Wonder what Rainer's gonna think about all this, though. Uh, Rainer is one of my favorite characters from the StarCraft series. Let's see, make you a group. 
if you press control and the number you can make it into a group that way you can quick select a unit very very handy so for example I press control and one and now I have all the zerglings here quick selected mighty mouse got an achievement and I'm <laughs> I love getting achievements so And then if I press one, not yet I haven't. I'm still in your containment cell. You can you can go back to them very quickly. Observe. Double press one. See? But we'll make all this into one big group. And let's not be in the containment cell anymore. a lot of zerglings. <laughs> Eradicator activated. There's this eradicator. Well, it's doing a good job of killing zerglings, though. Unfortunately, not good enough. Just way too many zerglings. A lot of Zerg. The Zerg have overrun the sublevel. You're lucky no one was killed, Kerrigan. Luck had nothing to do with it. And maybe now, you understand how dangerous the Zerg are. <laughs> I'll send them back to their pens. I appreciate that. I'm opening your cell right now, if you'd like to join me. And perhaps next time you can make your point without destroying half the facility. <laughs> Lab rat. Got a Zergling. Hmm, could have destroyed more factories. Got two achievements. Complete the lab rat mission in less than 10 minutes on normal. Ah, well. I'll go back and do that some, some other time. This is what I get for explaining things. <laughs> Which I am more than happy to do, by the way. So, there's the first... The first mission just getting started a nice little tutorial shows you how to move units around which was left click how to attack which is a and then left click the ground how to attack just a single unit which is a and then click on that unit or just basically m moving around without attacking with right click talked about zerglings overlords which are your supply which lets you have more zerg units and drones, which help you gather resources. So, with all that being said, if you're a StarCraft veteran, you know all of this already. But, I'm a person that goes over things for those that maybe don't know the series, but were curious about it, or just never played, never played StarCraft. Yes, there are people out there that have never played StarCraft. <laughs> Any of them. So, hopefully you've enjoyed this first look at the campaign for StarCraft II, Heart of the Swarm, which I'm just going to call Heart of the Swarm from now on, or at least try to. And next time, we'll continue to the, to the next mission and see what's going on. So, until then, I'm Cinder A9. Thank you all very much for watching. Remember to shoot for the stars, and take care, everyone.